All right, in this video, we're going to look at making a custom mouse pointer. And to get started, I'm going to open paint.net here, and I'm going to create a new image for my mouse pointer, and I'm just going to draw something up. Uh, but you can use any PNG image you want. I'm going to make this a 50 by 50. And then I'm just going to draw a little mouse pointer here. And once you've got your mouse pointer, go ahead and save it as the PNG image and make sure you save it in your project folder. I'm going to call this mouse.png. And now to add our mouse pointer to our code. I'm going to create a new class, but there's not a whole lot that goes in the mouse pointer, so I'm just going to create, I'm just going to add a header file. And we'll call it mouse.h. And inside mouse.h, we'll create our class, and we just call it mouse. And we can go ahead and include globals up at the top. And now our mouse needs a few things from SDL. First, we need a texture to load in our custom image. Next, we're going to need two rectangles, one for the image and one for collision detection. For the image, I just call it rect, and for collision detection, I just call it point. And now we can create our constructor, and for our texture, we're going to load in that image. For a rectangle, you can initialize this however you want. If you want to keep it a 50 by 50, that's fine, but if you think that's too big, just resize it to whatever best fits your program. I'm going to set mine to 25. 25 by 25. For the point, remember that our point is only for collision detection, so it's only going to be a 1 by 1. And now we can move on to our update function. We need to get the location of the system mouse and draw our mouse in that position. To set our rectangle to the system mouse, we're going to call SDL underscore get mouse state. And we're going to pass in our rectangle X and Y. And that will update the position of our rectangle. Now we can update the point. If your collision point is in the top left corner where a mouse normally is, then you can just set this equal to your rectangle's X. If you want the collision detection to be in the center of the mouse or something like that, then you'll need to adjust for that offset. And that should take care of our update. The last thing we need to do is write a draw function. And to draw, we're just going to call render copy and pass in our rectangle. And now that should take care of everything we need for a custom mouse pointer. Well, one thing that we may want to do is hide the system mouse. And we can do that by calling SDL underscore show cursor. And then just pass in false. And this will hide the system mouse. And now to test this out, we'll head back over to main. We can include mouse up at the top. We don't need to include globals anymore because it's going to come in with mouse. And then in main, I can create my mouse. And I just call it mouse. And then down here in our main loop, we can update our mouse. And then down here where we draw things, you probably want to draw the mouse very last. And 
and let's test it out. Oh, I uh, forgot to make my class public. Make that little correction there. And let's see what we get. I also left off a semicolon. All right, and there you can see I've got my own custom mouse pointer. If I leave the window for my program, I get my system mouse back. Uh, but as long as I'm hovering over my window, that mouse pointer will be hidden, and I only see my custom mouse pointer.